Uh, the boys want to be really careful of that. Not a lot they can do about it, but that's why these uh, these engines and these machines are so... Well, they can be so fragile because they're in such a harsh environment and the teams really need to just dot every I and cross every T when they're preparing these machines because the punishment that these machines cop and Mother Nature dishes out is just unrelenting in these races. So when the boat jumps up out of the water, when you see those little plumes of spray coming out the back of the boat, that's the propellers actually leaving the water. That's when the propellers want to spin free and all the load comes off the engines. Now, you don't want that to spin the engines up over their RPM limit because you're going to stretch rod bolts and you're going to have failures. So the throttle man's job is to just pull back on those throttles while those props are out of the water and then back on them once he gets into the water. Not seriously rough conditions today. It's a typical bow and chop. You can see a little bit of white water out there, a few white caps and a ding-dong battle still continuing on. We've actually had a change of position here. The Phantom have been uh, pushed out wide doesn't happen very often. They are very, very good operators. But this is what offshore power boat racing is all about. It's also about reliability. And that is absolutely crucial in this series. All of these boats throughout the series will have mechanical issues. There will be rollovers. There will be problems. It's about the teams that can deal with these problems the best. On the second last lap. But it is going to be an opening for a couple of bright young sparks. As they come through and take the win. And the team will go wild back in the pits. They've won it through a little bit of attrition. But as I said, you have to win it in the pits and the garages and the workshops prior to the race. The real battle coming down to the wire though. I just picked up as these guys rounded them up. Was the outboard battle and they are absolutely charging to the line.